Governor Greg Abbott's abandoning of the state's face mask mandate is already causing some concern within a school district in Comal County. Yeah, yesterday's Comal ISD board meeting saw changes to the district's health and safety protocols for both students and staff. The night team's Jonathan Coto spoke with parents today who say they weren't informed of that meeting, let alone the decision which will impact their own children. I think we're getting to a point where as a board, if we continue to require that every student wear a mask every single day, we're getting to the point of overreach. Kamal ISD school board members deciding in a 5 to 2 vote the use of a face mask will be optional by staff and students during last night's meeting. The board members and the superintendent did not bother surveying constituents and asking our feedback and our input. And it's that input Ramirez says she and other parents did not get to voice. As a parent, as a community member, that's when we have to stand up and say, mm, wait a minute, uh, let's let's uh, this isn't the job that we hired you for. Lisa Spar says she randomly checked her email last night to learn the meeting had already taken place and the decision I made. I call this meeting of the Kamal Independent School District. I would have at least liked to have had my voice heard or just been given a questionnaire or a survey or something to ask as a parent. According to the district's website, there are currently eight positive cases district wide, a low number. Many parents say it's because of wearing face masks. This has been working. We have had a very low incident rate of COVID. Ramirez has since made a petition that's gained significant support in an effort of having board members reconsider. In the very least, let's get uh, some real data within our own community to see how we feel about this. Some teachers also against the optional use of face masks. Some teachers are extremely uncomfortable with the idea of going into a classroom, standing in front of 25 kids, who potentially would not have a mask on. The petition now has over a thousand signatures. I did speak with a Comal ISD school board member, Marty Barlett, who says parents were notified. The parents say the problem is the notification was vague. It only stated it was discussing COVID protocols. In New Braunfels reporting, Jonathan Cotto, back to you.